What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. When I spectated some of my games during my coaching streams, one thing I noticed was that a lot of players tend to play extremely passive at levels 1, 2, and 3, and I don't think that that's always the best approach, and it often passes up a really big opportunity that you could take advantage of. Let's get started. Now, it's important to understand that when I say you should fight early, I'm talking like super early, levels 1, 2, and 3. And I don't mean go balls to the wall with your aggression. Push hard and go for the early level 2, manage your creep wave, and make a calculated play. There's a lot of good reasons to set up and go for a fight early in the game. You want to walk into the lane and think, from the first creep, I'm going to try to fight this guy at level 2 or 3, and then play the lane from level 1 with that mindset to set up a decent fight. You have to set it up, that's the key. And on top of that, it's all about weighing the risk versus your reward. If you're at a big disadvantage because maybe your champion is weak early or you think you might get ganked or you're getting pushed in, then yes, the fight is probably not worth it. But there's a lot of things that can make it go in your favor, assuming you don't have to worry about those things, to lower the risk and increase the reward to make it totally worth it to go for a play. Now, with that being said, there's a ton of solid reasons to fight early in the game. The first being that you are relatively free of jungle pressure, as the first clear is the only time that junglers will pretty much just not gank, so you have until about 320, 330 or so to fight your opponent without being ganked most likely. Sometimes junglers might cheese a gank level 2, but generally everyone tends to just do a full clear and then look for ganks, so if you fight early you get a really nice opportunity to fight without the jungler coming and without really having to ward either. Next is that it's not that hard at all to set up a good early game fight. All you really have to do is hit level 2 or hit level 3 before your opponent and you have such a massive advantage. The difference between level 1 and level 2 is just so big, as is the difference between level 2 and level 3. That pushing for the EXP advantage and then fighting can lead to quite a few easy kills in your games. In addition, a lot of players tend to make mistakes early that only matter if you make those mistakes early in the game, such as before level 4 or so. Things like fighting in the creeps, fighting with a weak level 1 or 2 champion, and not really calculating the strength of the opponent's level 1, 2, or 3 power spike is just a handful of mistakes that a lot of the players make. The reason for this is that a very large majority of players are super lazy, and so they don't really pay attention since those kinds of things won't really matter once they hit level 4 anyways, and so players tend to play super passive up until that point, but you can take advantage of this by fighting at level 1, 2, or 3. And in addition, the power of combat summoner spells in the early levels is a lot weaker. For example, at level 1, a health potion will heal for more than an ignite deals damage for, even including the healing debuff. Through the debuff, ignite will deal 70 damage and the potion will heal for 75 damage, so the ignite becomes completely useless. And the same goes for other summoners like heal and barrier. Maybe not so much exhaust, but you get the idea. The chance of you losing to summoners, with the exception of flash of course, in the early levels is a lot less. And, in addition, fighting early lets you get a really good read on your opponent. Are they a passive player? Defensive? Aggressive? How your opponent responds to a level 1 fight will tell you a lot about them, and really give you a ton of information that you can use to dictate fights later in the game. So use this fight early to get a good read on your opponent and to see how they respond to aggression in order to influence your future decisions in the game. And lastly, of course, if you manage to win the fight, the fact that you start snowballing so early into the game is really significant, because it means you can start carrying the game as soon as possible. So if your team starts to feed, you already have a really nice lead that you can work with to help out the rest of your team and to snowball the game with, as opposed to if you waited 10 minutes or so to fight and your team was already 0-2-0-3 starting to feed pretty hard, you might kind of get screwed since you weren't far enough ahead already to make a play to account for their deficit. So if you win a fight early game, you can begin to account for that as soon as possible and look to snowball your lane and the game and go a long way to carrying feeding teammates. Anyways, those are just my tips. My name is Jeremy and that's it for my video on why you should always fight early in League. Hey guys, it's me Jeremy. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, definitely make sure to hit that like button so I can tell and if you're interested, 
but definitely check me out on all the socials of which you can see over there. And if you really enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for some more awesome content in the future, as well as you can check out some of my other videos up here and over there. Anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.